The Truth About Singer Park Gyu Rai, Park Gyu Rai, born May 21, 1988, better known by the mononym Jayuri, is a South Korean singer, actress and radio personality. She is a former member and leader of the South Korean girl group Kara. Early Life, Park Gyu Rai was born on May 21, 1988 in Seoul, South Korea. Prior to her singing career, she was a child actress. Her first appearance was on Today is an East Day in 1995 where she played the girlfriend of Kang Ho Dong's brother. She later appeared as the teenage version of Kim Jung Yoon's character in Ladies of the Palace in 2001. She's the one who came up with the name Kara which comes from the Greek word Tara, which was interpreted to mean sweet melody. Career, 2007-2010, Debut, Commercial Susus, Star Golden Bell, Collaborations and Japanese debut, Kara debuted on March 29, 2007 with Break It on NetSM. Countdown as a four-member group. Gu Rai was one of the four along with Nicole Jung, Han Seung Ji Yeon and Kim Sung Hee. Kara was often compared to Finn KL because of the concept and the fact that they are both from the same company. Sung Hee left the group in March 2008 due to parental pressure, just when Kara intended to make their comeback. Sungi failed her college exams and left the group. On July 24, 2008, Kara came back with two new members, Gu Ha Ra and Kang Ji Young. Their new concept was cute and playful. On December 4, 2008, Kara had their comeback on M. Countdown with Pretty Girl. In February 2009, Kara released their second mini-album Honey. Honey became the group's first number one single when it topped the charts on M. Countdown and the music trend. In late July 2009, Kara revealed their second album named Revolution. Due to the popularity of the songs Wanna and Mr., Kara's overall popularity increased. Originally having auditioned as a rapper, Gyu Rai rapped for the first time in the song Magic with Nicole. Upon Nicole's segment ending on Star Golden Bell, Gyu Rai was appointed as a permanent guest. She was supposed to have her own segment on the show but the producers did not follow through. She featured in a duet titled Day After with Hong Kyung Min on his 10th album Special Edition, released on February 4, 2010. In March 2010, Kara started promotions with their third mini-album Lupin. The album was a success, and won first place on the KBS Music Bank K chart on March 12, March 19 and March 26. On April 21, 2010, it was announced that Park would take over the position of DJ alongside Shin Dong on Shim Shin Tapa after Kim Shin Young left. Their first broadcast aired on May 6, 2010. Citation needed on September 26, 2011, Park announced that she would no longer DJ the show due to her busy schedule. Her last broadcast was on October 2, 2011. In August 2010, Kara officially debuted in Japan with Mr. After their successful debut in Japan, Kara released their fourth mini-album Jumping in November 2010. 2011-2014, Contract Termination, Alpha and Omega and Carasia, on January 19, 2011, the other Kara members released a statement announcing they were terminating their contract with DSP Media. Park Urai was the only one remaining with the management company. Later that day, Guhara discontinued her involvement with the suit and rejoined the company. The contract dispute was later resolved, and Kara released their third Korean studio album titled Step. On September 6, the album's title song, Step, immediately topped various music charts in South Korea hours after its release. By the end of 2011, the album has sold over 100,000 copies in South Korea. Park was the voice of Kate in the Korean dub of Alpha and Omega released in February 2011. On May 7, she gave an hour-long lecture at Seowoon High School in Incheon. Park was invited to speak because of a survey which asked Seowoon High School's students to name their number one career choice. Overwhelmingly, they all replied that they hoped to become celebrities. As a senior in the industry, Park was able to give a lecture and answer any questions the students may have before jumping into it. Park commented, I was first recommended for the lecture through my professor, and I rejected it because I didn't think I was someone worthy to give a lecture on the topic. 
I decided to change my mind when I realized that I had my mother to ask for advice while I was contemplating the career, but that these students probably didn't. It must be so daunting for them, so I changed my mind. I hope that I'll be able to help them in some way. On February 18, 2012, Gu Rai and the rest of Kara embarked on their first headlining Asian tour, Carasia. The tour drew around 150,000 people, with every seat for each concert being sold. The last concert was broadcast live through streaming in 60 different theaters throughout Japan, and all the tickets to the theaters were sold out as well. On August 3, 2012, DSP announced that the group would release their fifth mini-album in South Korea at the end of August and would aim to show their matured charms through its concept. 18. On August 6, their agency revealed the album's title, Pandora, based on Greek mythology. The mini-album along with the music video for the title track, Pandora, were released on August 22. 19. By the end of September 2012, the mini-album had sold over 70,000 copies. On January 6, 2013, Kara held a special New Year's concert at the Tokyo Dome in Japan called Karasia 2013, Happy New Year in Tokyo Dome. The concert was a complete success, selling out 45,000 Albanian Lex tickets within five minutes and becoming the first female Korean artist to hold a concert at the Tokyo Dome. Musical Theater, on July 15, 2011. Park joined the cast of 200 Pounds Beauty Musical, which was shown in Japanese theaters. On October 12, DSP Media revealed that Karis Park U Rise achieved smashing success with her first musical performance of 200 Pound Beauty. From the October 8th to 10th, Park kicked off the musical as the leading female, selling out all three performances in Osaka. Audience members of all ages, from teens to the elderly, filled the hall and responded enthusiastically to the show, requesting for an encore after it was all over. Park was diagnosed with vocal cord nodules in November after the performances and rehearsals for the musical seemed to have taken a toll on her throat. Although the hospital called for absolute rest, Park refused to rest and continued to practice for the musical. The musical kicked off in Korea on December 6 and ran through the December 17 for a total of six performances. According to the show's production company, Show Note, Park brought in over 50% male audience members. The average audience for musicals is said to be made up of 25% to 40% males, making 200 pounds beauty significantly higher in male audience members than average. Show host, Park has been offered various hosting jobs in Japan. She co-hosted the 26th Golden Disc Awards in Osaka with Super Junior's Lee Toik. She also co-hosted Korean, Japanese fashion event Kiss with the famous Japanese model Yuri Ebihara. The Golden Disc Awards is a major music awards event in South Korea. Each year, idols of various K-pop groups are chosen to host this important event. In Hayu events she hosted the Music Bank in Tokyo K-pop Festival on July 13, 2011 and Seoul Tokyo Music Festival 2011 on November 9. She is often approached by numerous Japanese companies to serve as a host for events because of her fluency in Japanese, her fluid way of hosting, and also her skill at talking. 25. She hosted Yang Yang K-Pop Festival at Naxon Beach on February 23, 2013. Park also hosted SGC Superlive 2013 in Tokyo, Japan on June 2, 2013. Elegance, refinement and professionalism are the hallmarks of Urai when it comes to conducting an event brands. This is true not only for awards, but also in variety and entertainment programs. Her most recent work was in the program The Show, alongside Shingyeon as MC. Personal Life, Vocal Cord Surgery On February 20, 2012, Kara's agency DSP Media reported, Park Yurai will be undergoing surgery on February 21 to remove nodules and polyps that have been found in her vocal cords. In her situation, she needs to get surgery or else it will be difficult for her to be working as a singer. Park has been working hard and the situation has piled up. Park has been active promoting domestic and overseas. Although Park knew about her condition, she postponed her surgery in order to perform a musical 200 Pound Beauty in which she played a leading role, and to perform at Kara's first independent concert Carasia.
She has been flying to and from Korea and Japan and now are having their first ever Asian tour, with their very busy schedule, a surgery needs to be done. DSP Media continued, Girai's priority is to focus on rehab to ensure a speedy recovery. Kara has an Asia tour that kicks off in Japan this April, so we are going with a special rehab program that will allow Girai to fully recover before then her college exams and left the group. On July 24, 2008, Kara came back with two new members, Gu Ha Ra and Kang Ji Young. Their new concept was cute and playful. On December 4, 2008, Kara had their comeback on M. Countdown with Pretty Girl. In February 2000. The Truth About Singer Park Gyu Rai, Park Gyu Rai, born May 21, 1988, better known by the mononym Jai Uri, is a South Korean singer, actress and radio personality. She is a former member and leader of the South Korean girl group Kara. Early life as a four-member group. Gyu Rai was one of the four along with Nicole Jung, Han Seung Ji Yeon and Kim Sung Hee. Kara was often compared to Finn KL because of their concept and the fact that they are both from the same company. Sungi left the group in March 2008 due to parental pressure, just when Kara intended to make their comeback. Sungi failed on. She's the one who came up with the name Kara which comes from the Greek word Chara, which was interpreted to mean sweet melody. Career, 2007-2010, Debut, Commercial Susus, Star Golden Bell, Collaborations and Japanese debut, Kara debuted on March 29, 2007 with Break It on Nets M. Countdown, Park Urai was born on May 21, 1988 in Seoul, South Korea. Prior to her singing career, she was a child actress. Her first appearance was on Today is an East Day in 1995 where she played the girlfriend of Kang Ho Dong's brother. She later appeared as the teenage version of Kim Jong-un's character in Ladies of the Palace in 2001.